lot of pictures this past season on Backyard Farmer with eggs asking for identification. And even though I'm the entomologist, we want to know if those are friend or foe, and sometimes it's very difficult for me as well. It does take time and some investigation, so here are some tips that I'm going to give you that you can help me help you. So first, when you find those eggs, you want to let me know what kind of plant it's on, because generally a lot of insects will feed on particular plants. And some insects that don't feed on that plant will feed on other pests of that particular plant, so they're predators. And that is a good way for us to identify them. Another thing to do is to get some characteristics of those eggs. What are the shape of them? What are the color? Are they laid singly or are they in clusters? Are they in an egg mass? Are they in an egg sac? All those things are very important with identification. Also, do they have ridges on them? Are they uh, on a stalk? Are they shaped like a barrel? Um, all those things are important. Did you find them on the top of the leaf, the bottom of the leaf, on the stems? I know, you probably didn't think it was that complicated. But we have so many different insects here in Nebraska and elsewhere. And they all will start off as an egg, so we want to know what those look like so we can help you. But if it's on a leaf, you can always take that leaf off that has the eggs. And if it's summertime, you can actually rear them out or put them in a container outside and see what comes out of them. And then you'll know next time if it's a caterpillar or a beetle or something else. If an adult wasp comes out of it, it wasn't an egg, it was a cocoon. So right now in winter, we may find some things in the garden that we had previously. So think about what you saw in the garden during the spring and summer. Right now you may see those egg sacs from those garden spiders, which are really cool. They'll be in a protective place, sometimes in the vegetation, in the shrubs, or close to a building. We also have those praying mantis, uuthiki. Um, we've got the Carolina mantid that sometimes will lay their egg sac on items in the garden that you may leave outside. And the Chinese praying mantis will lay their egg cases that kind of look like a foamy mass on vegetation, so in shrubs and on the plants. And so when you're um, doing garden cleanup or um, pruning in the spring, you may find those and you want to leave those somewhere in the garden so they can emerge. We also will find eggs on certain plants that we uh, want to, to eat. So if you think about your vegetable garden, what plant are these eggs on? So if you've got a squash plant, those are likely the squash bug or the squash vine borer. And we'll be able to identify that by the color, the shape, the location. And those are gonna be pests. So you're gonna wanna get rid of those eggs. And the best way to do that is just by squishing them. So you don't need to use any insecticide. Another pest that we may find on cabbage we'll see little eggs. A lot of those will be the cabbage white butterfly. And butterflies are beautiful, but they all start off as caterpillars. And depending on what your crop or your flower is, you may not want it there. Sometimes they're not gonna be enough to um, damage your crop, so it should be all right. Uh, people also love butterfly gardens, and one of those are going to be the monarch. So monarch butterflies will always lay their eggs on milkweed. So if you're looking at a milkweed plant and you see a single egg laid on the underside that's white and almost spherical, that may be a monarch butterfly. If you do see an egg mass, that may be the milkweed tussock moth. So these are all going to be clues to identify the insect eggs that you find out in your landscape. So keep sending us those pictures, but remember to take that information so we can help you out.